the best conference in college football on the field at the conclusion of 2016 after the conference won the important games in postseason play and really dominated start to finish with a 10-3 record. So even the Wake win in an insignificant bowl game over Temple as a two-touchdown underdog filled out the resume very nicely, as did wins by a number of participants. Miami's win over West Virginia, a 10-2 team in the Big 12, was mighty impressive as well. But it was certainly that Florida State win over Michigan in the Orange Bowl, but most importantly, the Clemson run against Ohio State in convincing fashion, then eking out the national championship game win against Alabama, sealed the ACC with the 10-3 postseason record. But we will find out in just about a week whether the ACC is going to back up it's off-season hype, especially at ACC kickoff, in terms of being the best conference in college football. Let's look at the game-by-game -game prediction records that I've established. So check out the videos 1 through 14 as I go from Syracuse all the way up to the champion of the ACC and run through the game-by-game -game predictions. And also, if you question the schedule rankings, look through those and uh, start off with the introductory video that I've outlined. Then I ranked... The schedule, 68 all the way up to number one in Power 5 football. All right, Miami, finally, with the best roster in the division, gets it done, and they win that much-coveted Coastal Division Championship despite losing three games. So they're not in contention for a college football playoff appearance. And, of course, this is going to be a bit speculative considering the quarterback situation with Malik Rozier winning the job just a couple days ago being kind of what's considered to be a stopgap for Nikosi Perry, the five-star stud at quarterback that many expected to win the job, and don't be surprised if he wins it by season's end. Miami loses the three games, but they win the much-anticipated and highly important game head-to-head -head with Virginia Tech, something they couldn't do last year that cost them. So the Hokies fall to Miami on the road this year. Both finish at 9-3, and three, but the Hokies lose that one to fall to 5-3 and three in the ACC you see that the improvement that we've seen in the Coastal Division in recent years from programs like Duke, not necessarily last year, but going to back-to-back -to -back bowl games and the ACC Championship game in 2013 is going to subside along with North Carolina falling off after losing all that offensive firepower and Mitchell Trubisky pulling the trigger. Pitt falls off this year after a run of postseason success or postseason play in particular out of the Panthers. And Virginia wins uh, two more games to double its win total from 2017 under Bronco Mendenhall. Georgia Tech falls off from 9-4. and four. So the Coastal is down. Miami and Virginia distinguish themselves, and certainly the Canes even more so. Moving to the power-packed Atlantic Division with possibly, possibly the four best teams in the conference. I would certainly say the top two and most likely the top three. Florida State sweeps the ACC. Certainly, I had to think long and hard about the game at Clemson, and despite the quarterback advantage and the inexperience of Kelly Bryant, Clemson could certainly win this conference again and march on to a college football playoff appearance. They have the playmakers on offense, even though they lost Gallman, Scott, and Williams. They are coming back with firepower on offense. If they get the quarterback play, the defense is going to be lights out. I actually trust that the Clemson defense is going to be one of the five best in the nation, more so than Florida State. But I think with Derwin James coming back, that the Knowles might turn out to have the best defense in college football right there with Ohio State, Alabama, and Clemson. Knowles get it done at 11-1, 8-0. You would have to check out the video of the game predictions to see the game that Florida State will lose in 2017 because there will be upsets, even though it isn't probable that Florida State will lose the game that I project them to lose. Clemson at 10 and 2 overall. Uh, very solid division, especially the top half, of course, with North Carolina State and Louisville. Definitely that second tier, their fringe top 15 to 20 teams. Most people would consider the Cardinals to be better than the Wolfpack. At first thought, I would as well, but once I ran through the game by game predictions, uh, even though. Uh, they're both 5-3. and three. I went with the North Carolina State win at home against Louisville. The Cardinals do win some key games in the ACC to finish at 5-3. and three. The bottom tier is uh, headlined by Wake. Getting back to a bowl game at 6-6. Six and six. So you can see the bowl participants here have at least six wins. So it's Miami, Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, and North Carolina out of the Coastal. 
out of the Atlantic, Florida State, Clemson, North Carolina State, Louisville, and Wake for a second consecutive year squeaks into a bowl game with a late season win over Duke. They're 6-6, six 3-5 and six, three and five in the conference, and Syracuse and Boston College are awful. And I've got Syracuse placed over BC despite the one less win overall because they won the head-to-head. So Syracuse completely on the mat at 0-7 before they get the late season win at home in the last regular season game against Boston College. ACC final standings, there they are. So we've got Miami, we've got Florida State in the championship game, a game people have been waiting for for a long, long time. And your final in the ACC championship game for about the umpteenth straight year in which there have been close games, relatively speaking, the last two years with Clemson knocking out North Carolina and Virginia Tech, but outclassing them, similar outcome here. Florida State, 34. Miami, 24. So the Knowles move on to the college football playoff at 12-1. Need to hear from you now. I'm Mark Rogers, TV.